Mm. There is the line in the Bible, spare the rod, save the child. Which basically, yeah, which basically says, yeah, beat your children to make them good people. And so that's at the core of the belief structure of everybody in the society that adheres to the, to the religious practice. And so beating is common. Um, you know the singer Rihanna? So, so I, I wrote about this in my last book. Rihanna was dating uh, a uh, rapper called um, something Brown, Chris Brown, and he beat her. Uh, oh, Shivani can't hear me. Um, he he beat her uh, black and blue. He busted her eye socket, her jaw, and she's from a Caribbean uh, upbringing, same sort of thing, physical punishment. And she, after he spent two years in prison, she went back after him to get him back because, and I can't remember who made this point, unless she was beaten, she didn't see it as being love, home, leave an abusive relationship. She's the one that gets the societal uh, shaming. You've had to deal with that with clients of yours? Okay, I had someone who, um, so she's married. They mm -hmm. don't have children yet, but the husband rapes her. Okay, so he forcefully has sex with her. He believes that she belongs to him because he has paid a right price. So every time he wants to have sex, she has to have sex. If she refuses, he beats her up and still rapes, sleeps with her. Okay, so um, that went home for a couple of years. Okay, like you mentioned, uh, we are very religious in this part of the world. Okay, so, you know, she kept holding it in, praying for him, hoping that one day he would see the light and stop beating her, you know, and all that. And it went on for years. I think um, about two times she lost her pregnancy because of that. Okay, and he wasn't even taking responsibility. He was still hanging it on her that she wasn't fertile enough to give him children. You know, and it went on for years. Finally, she summoned courage, reported him to um, I mean, people in the church. And, you know, instead of telling her, get out of that marriage, you're like, you know, you have to forgive your husband. It's the devil's handwork. You know, you have to help him go through this, help him come out a better man. You know, she stayed for another one or two years until she realized that. Okay, thankfully, she had a very supportive family. So by the time her, her family members got to know what was happening because everybody was bothered why are you losing your pregnancies You're, you don't have any health issues you know so by the time our family members knew about it they would to you know rally around her she was fortunate enough to have family members that would understand and parents that don't mind her coming back home because in africa in this part you had coming back to my house mm. okay so that's another thing so imagine a woman that has been dependent on her husband for a long time and you're telling her to get out of the marriage where would she start from her family would not even accept her okay right. for this lady she was able to leave because she has a family that were willing to take her back in you know and there have been different cases like that like that and um, so it's it's very major in this part of the world so you, you'd see people in marriages especially ladies that are obviously being abused and you know the, another funny thing that happens if you report so you are a neighbor and you report policeman to the house it will turn on you because the policeman will tell you it's family issues why are you getting involved it's that bad okay so you cannot even report a case of abuse they'll tell you it's none of your business it will be worse for you if the couples get to the station and tell you that you are lying Okay, the police people can even lock you up for lying. Up. So there are lots of cases like that. That's I'm thankful that we're in the era where there's a lot of women empowerment. You know, you know where you get out 
you can get somebody to help you. There are institutions that can give you shelter for a while while you stand on your feet and that. Okay, so last we are coming out of it, but we just need to come out stronger. We need um thank thank God for what is happening here, what we are doing here today. I'm hoping that a couple of people that are in abusive situations will get to listen to this recording and know that okay, this is not it. You don't have to stay there. That's yeah. not the end of the world, you know. So that's it.